Hi, Jerry Neiser here for Real Green Pest and Lawn Care. Let's talk a minute for about irrigation. You know, throughout all this whole series on plant health care where we talk about insects and we talk about diseases and, you know, 90% of what we do is we fix irrigation problems with chemicals. Not kidding. And the reason for that is that, you know, homeowners are in general, what they're doing is they're subsidizing rainfall. Any plant, regardless of what it is, it's, it's really amazing how precise it, it really likes irrigation to be. Not too much, not too little. Too much, you end up with a disease problem. Too little, most often you end up with an insect problem. So it's important for you to know how much, when, you know, to, to irrigate your lawn, or re really for that matter, anything. And, and irrigation is the, 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 the length of time and the frequency, is there, it's really dependent upon two things, temperature, and the device itself, okay? Temperature dictates more than anything how often you irrigate, okay? The type of device dictates how long you irrigate. When I say type of device, it could be anything. It could be a hose that you're holding, it could be a whirlybird sprinkler, manual sprinkler that you put out, or it could be an automatic sprinkler system that you had put in. So the, the, the device itself really doesn't matter as long as you know how much it's putting out. If you know how much it's putting out, then you know how long to run it for. A couple of quick things you need to know. Number one is that in Austin, Texas, Central Texas, we've got a heavy clay soil. So again, that means that it drains slowly. So about the most you can put down in a single irrigation cycle is a little over an inch of water, about 0.6. And then what happens is the water will start to run off horizontally somewhere else where you didn't intend it to be. And those low spots are the spots that where it runs to will probably end up with brown patch. So it's important to realize how much water you can put down in a length of time as well as how much it's actually putting out. How do you know how much water that it's putting out? Well, let's think about this for a second. Hoses or pipe itself, when you send water through it, it's going to have friction against the walls. So the longer the pipe is, the more friction is going to develop and the less volume is going to come out the other end. The more heads that you have in a zone, in other words, if you tandem a couple of manual sprinklers together, you're probably going to get half as much water out through each one. If you've got five heads in a zone, it's probably going to put out more water than if you had eight heads in a zone because you're simply feeding more water. And you know, the, the, limiting, the limiting factor on that, of course, is volume and pressure delivered to your house. But let's talk about how we measure how much water that your uh, sprinkler system's putting out. What you want to do is get four catch devices. That's a complicated word for four bowls. And uh, what you want to do is put these four bowls out through an irrigation zone. And you want to do this on each zone that, uh, of your irrigation system because each zone you'll find puts out a different amount of water. And what you're after is figuring out exactly how much water each zone puts out. So we're going to put four bowls out through our irrigation zone. Let's do that now. I've got my four bowls and I'm going to spread these through this zone as equally as I can. It's important to put the bowls down level. It's probably one of the more common mistakes that people make because they don't put the bowls down level. But to get an accurate reading, that has to be that way. Okay. Now this is also a great time to check your uh, irrigation system for malfunctions, to check the heads and make sure that they're set up right. Oftentimes the heads will be leaning left or leaning right or perhaps it won't be the right head at all. Irrigation companies put uh, sprinkler systems in generally geometrically, meaning by squares and rectangles, which is not really the way to do it. Um, the, uh, a full shade area basically uses about half as much water as a full sun area, so you can compensate for that by changing the head out. Uh, all heads are rated in gallons per hour and also throw, in other words, the distance that, they, that they'll throw to. So in a shady area, you can cut that back to gallons per hour. It's important to know that as well because a lot of the big box stores don't offer that choice of gallons per hour. They basically try and sell you a universal head that you can change the pattern on, but you really can't change the throw. So let's go ahead and fire this zone off and see what it looks like. 
I'm gonna step back here and try and stay dry. Okay, just like I thought, the zone has some problems in and of itself. This head is turned, it's twisted, so it's shooting like this. It's set for 180 degrees, but it's, there's no throw at all in this direction. So just a quick little twist, and that takes care of that. You know, it's a good thing to, to wear a bathing suit and not complete clothes, because you will get wet. There's nothing you can do about that. This head right here, it looks like it's uh, leaning to the right. What that causes, is for the, the water to, to, to fall um, short of the next head. Now sprinkler systems rely on overlap. And in other words, the water from this, this head is supposed to fall on that sprinkler over there. That's the distance that you want. And this sprinkler head here is supposed to fall on that one and that one's supposed to fall back this way. Now because it's angled like this, it's going to fall early and the one on the other side is actually going to shoot further. And you can see the concrete wet over there um, as an example of that. That one back there is actually leaning backwards. It's um, like this. And so it's going to cause it to shoot further as well. So um, this lean that we see, oftentimes that's caused by an irrigation contractor using flexible pipe. Flexible pipe is really a no-no, and the reason is is that it allows the head to move, just like this. You know, it's easier for those guys to install with flexible pipe, but soil is dynamic. It's always moving. So if you use a, a flexible type pipe, yeah, if you step on it or run over it, you won't break the pipe, but the other side of that is, is your head will quickly get out of adjustment, and it'll be leaning one direction or the other. So it's important to use rigid pipe. Um, rigid PVC when, when, you, when an irrigation system is installed or if it's even repaired. And repairs, I've seen, you know, a lot of contractors use that flexible pipe. So no, no, don't let them do it. Okay, we've got our four catch devices here, which are really nothing more than just little green plastic bowls. But the main thing to know is that they're all the same size. They must be the same size. So I've poured all four of them together. Take my handy dandy ruler and I'm going to stick it in there. And guess what? I got exactly one inch of water. Okay? So we've got four bowls, right? And so what we're after is an average. With four bowls, it just happens to be one inch of water. I don't know what the chances of that are, but it's one inch of water. So if you divided that by four, you're going to get a quarter inch. So that irrigation system is putting out a quarter inch of water in 15 minutes. So if I wanted a half an inch, how long would I have to run it for? 30 minutes, right? 15 times 2 is 30. So again, so that, that's uh, the basics of how to measure um, what your irrigation system's putting out. I'm Jerry Neiser for Real Green Pests and Lawns. For more information on this, and to, if, you, you know, if, you, if you want the written text on it, go to our WaterWise page on our website at realgreenlawns.com and you'll find this all written out and shown, you know, again, how to, how to do it. Um, or if you, know, if you need help setting up your irrigation system, feel free to call us at 45 Green. It's 454-7336 if you're in our service area. Have a great day.